How to screenshot on a PC or laptop. Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Windows tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you several different ways to take screenshots on your Windows PC or laptop. So we're going to go over several methods, including key combinations on your keyboard that will allow you to take screenshots, as well as built-in apps on your computer that'll make taking screenshots very easy for you. All right, so to begin, we're going to start with the print screen button on our keyboard. Now this button can be used to take two different types of screenshots. First, if you have multiple monitors, we can do a keyboard combination of the Windows button and the print screen button on our keyboard to take a screenshot. So if I do that real quick, as you can see, it'll gray out. Now with the print screen button, anytime I use this, it'll save the screenshot to my clipboard on my computer, meaning I can paste it anywhere I need to. And then if I open up any app or browser, anything like that, I can do Control V on my keyboard. And as you can see, that will paste that screenshot. And this includes all three of my monitors here. Now, if I want to use print screen to take a screenshot just of one monitor, whichever monitor I'm currently working on, all I need to do is do a keyboard combination of Alt and then print screen at the same time. And then when I paste that using Control V, you can see that that is just this single monitor. So that would be how you use the print screen button on your keyboard to take screenshots. Now, if you want to take more specific or customizable screenshots, there's a built-in tool on our computer called Snip and we can access that two ways. First, we can go down to the taskbar and select the Windows Start button on our computer, and then just type Snip, and you should see Snip and Sketch come up. Go ahead and select that. And you can also bring this up using a keyboard combination of the Windows key, the one with the Windows logo, S and Shift at the same time to bring up Snip and Sketch. So now all we need to do to take our first screenshot using Snip and Sketch is select New. You'll see this new menu appear at the top here. And we have four different options for taking a screenshot. First, we have rectangular snip. So if I select that, I can select a rectangular or square portion of the screen. And then this will be saved as the snip, where then I have the option to mark it up if I need to circle something or highlight something, or I can crop it even further if needed. Additionally, we have the ability to snip using freeform tool. So if I do this, I can literally just draw anywhere I want, and that will be the screenshot that I get. After that, we have the Windows Snip tool, and this can be useful if maybe you just want to capture your browser or a certain software or program that you have saved. So as you can see, I have the notepad open just as an example, and I can select that. And then as you can see, that entire window has been saved as a screenshot. So this can be useful if you just want to screenshot one application on your computer. After the Windows Snip tool, we have the full screen snip, and this will screenshot everything on your computer, including all of your monitors, if you do have multiple monitors. So as you can see here. Now, once you have the screenshot that you want, and you're ready to save it or share it, all we need to do to save it is go up into the top right, select the Save button, and then you can save it there. You can also copy it if you want to copy and then paste it somewhere by using Control V or right-clicking and selecting Paste. Additionally, you can share it directly to certain apps by selecting the share button, and then you'll have several options for sharing it that way, either sending it through email or to other applications. All right, so that's how you screenshot on a PC or laptop. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Windows tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Engaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.